Saturday in the evening time on this Saturday evening, November 2nd, 2013. Time now for the What a Magician, PJ Wiggins. The evening report. Saturday evening, November 2nd, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our Kirk Editions at 5.30 p.m. in Norton, Massachusetts. We got a temperature of 62 degrees and a temperature with a humidity of 58%. Wind speed is calm. Barometer 20.61 inches. 2.47 degrees and a visibility of 10 miles. Okay, let's take a look at our radar scope around the country and it shows a couple of little <laughs> Love the rain, Charles in Western Connecticut, down in East New York and Stretch and Andrew. Berkshire's in Massachusetts, Stretch in Western Vermont and upstate New York with a few sleet and snow showers around the Adirondacks and in the upstate New York and in the Finger Lakes in New York State. With the rain showers extending down from the northeastern Ontario stretch on to southern Quebec around Montreal and with a few sleet and snow pelts in northern New Hampshire down to southern Quebec. And a few couple of blobs of rain showers in eastern Maine stretching in western New Brunswick. Here. And a line of rain showers in New Brunswick. And a batch of rain showers in southern. Nova Scotia down for western and east of Prince Edward Island in Canada. Little snow showers in northern Quebec. And a lot of rain showers from the Boston off the coast of Massachusetts stretching down the eastern seaboard stretching in north central Florida then off the west coast of Florida. And the rain showers stretched to western New York and down for southern Ontario and down for Michigan and down Ohio and down western Pennsylvania stretching in Indiana and down for Illinois and down for Eastern Wisconsin and Chicago in Illinois. And a blob of rain showers western West Virginia down for over Virginia and Maryland stretching down for Kentucky and Tennessee down for western Carolina and stretch it out of the southern Georgia here. All right, all right, let's a couple of batches of rain showers in over Baja California, uh, Mexico, then off the San Diego, California here. And a lot of rain and sleeted snow pelts in the western Oregon and Washington down to the southwestern British Columbia and a couple of blob of snow showers and, and heavy snow in eastern British Columbia stretched out of the Alberta for the Blitzen Center and Kelly and we're in Chelsea South Eastern Alberta down for southwestern Saskatchewan down in northern Montana a little bunch of rain sleet and snow pelts in eastern Washington down for uh, northern Idaho down for western Montana and then western Idaho down for eastern Oregon here Seringa, Idaho. Good evening, everybody. 47 degrees here. All right, let's take a look at our satellite open and it shows a couple of batches of clouds cover from Mexico, stretching through the eastern seaboard from Florida down through May, then stretching into the Atlantic seaboard. And a batch of the clouds covering the northern California Nevada, stretching to the northwest and Amphis, southwestern British Columbia and Alberta, and, and west of Saskatchewan, and stretching to the western Dakota. There. Okay, let's take a look at the tropics and tropical uh, depression 18E is weakening. As a tropical depression, 18 e movement, 5 miles by 300 degrees, wind speed 35 gusts to 45, pressure 1,000 to 6 millibars. So you're gonna make landfall near Calicut, Mexico on Monday. Okay, typhoon cross a little bit, 2 miles by 50 degrees, wind speed 90 gusts to 115. And then that's gonna make landfall in central Vietnam in the next. Probably time frame will be Monday. Monday afternoon here. Okay, let's take a look at a map situation. It shows a uh, cold front from central government, so it's stretching down in eastern seaboard and stretching down to western Nova Scotia. Low pressure centered in eastern New York and down in Long Island around New York City and a frontal boundary from New York State stretching far on to and down from southern Michigan and down to southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois and down to Iowa. And another friend of mine from Montana down to Wyoming and a school for from California stretch to Oregon, Washington State and down to the South British Columbia. No, and high pressure, pool of high pressure from Nevada and Eastern California, Nevada. Switch to the Four Quarters region and down to Western Kansas, local and Western Texas Panhandle. Alright, let's take a look at this 7 day focus. It goes like this. For tonight, a chance to shout out. Belly after 11 p.m. Most of the cops got to the low of 39 degrees. Cobweb becoming over about 5 to 7 miles per hour after midnight. Chance of precipitation is 40%. 
New perturbation about the less than a 7-inch possible. For Sunday, a slight change of showers before 11 a.m. Clouds that gradually become a Muslim sight with higher 46 degrees. Not for about 10 to 14 miles per hour when gusts as high as 26 miles per hour. Chance of spacious is 20%. So if you go into the Patriots game against the Steelers at 425 at Gillette, got him take an extra layer of clothing with you because it has got to be a chilly, chilling evening on tap for the mile in the next 24 hours. Here, Sunday night, most of the got lower at 22 degrees, not with about 9 miles per hour. Monday, back to work, back to school. Saints got either 44 degrees, not with about 7 to 11 miles per hour. Monday night, Puck has got lower at 26 degrees, not these with about 3 to 6 miles per hour. Tuesday, Puck says got either 52 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the got low 34 degrees. Wednesday, Puck says got either 62 degrees. Wednesday night, most of the got with a lower at 46 degrees. Thursday, chest of showers, most of the got either 66 degrees. Chest of space is 30%. Thursday night, showers likely, most of the got the lower 40 degrees. Chest of space is 30%. Friday, chest of showers, most of the got either 54 degrees. Chest of space is 30%. Friday night, most of the got lower 28 degrees. And for Saturday, says got either 49 degrees. Peters with a phase of the evening. A clear night on tap and a chilly day on tap for tomorrow. This is PJ with you have a good day with a good positive attitude. Good evening, I'll see you at 11.